Once upon a time, in a land far away, a person approached Gotam Buddha with a heavy heart. This individual was grappling with overwhelming emotions, particularly anger and frustration, and they sought guidance on how to gain better control over their emotional responses. With a compassionate smile, Buddha welcomed the troubled soul and asked them to sit down, offering to share a story that held a valuable lesson. The story began with a prosperous king who ruled a thriving kingdom. One day, the king decided to visit a neighboring kingdom, drawn by tales of the neighboring king's legendary wisdom. Upon his arrival, the king was greeted with great honor and respect, and a grand feast was prepared in his honor. However, during the feast, an unexpected intruder marred the occasion. A small fly landed in the king's soup. The king, visibly repulsed, ordered his servant to fetch a fresh bowl of soup. Observing this incident, the king of the neighboring kingdom, known for his wisdom, offered a perspective. Your majesty, please do not be angry. It was just a small fly, and it does not matter. In response, the king declared, I cannot tolerate such things. Even a small fly can ruin my mood. However, the wise king of the neighboring kingdom gently smiled and shared a profound piece of wisdom. Your majesty, allow me to give you a piece of advice. It is not the fly that has ruined your mood, it is your reaction to it. You have the power to control your emotions, do not let them control you. These words resonated deeply with the visiting king. He returned to his own kingdom, profoundly impacted by this lesson. From that day onward, he made a conscious effort to practice the art of not reacting impulsively to situations that previously triggered his emotions. He discovered that by maintaining his composure during challenging situations, he could make more rational and informed decisions. The story illustrates the power of not reacting thoughtlessly. Often, in the face of adversity or provocations, we respond impulsively, letting anger and frustration guide our actions. Such impulsive reactions can damage relationships and hinder our ability to make clear-headed decisions. However, it's crucial to recognize that the lesson of not reacting doesn't mean suppressing emotions. Emotions are an integral part of the human experience, and it's essential to acknowledge them. Instead of reacting impulsively, it encourages us to take the time to process our emotions and respond thoughtfully. In another corner of the world, there lived a young man named Michael who grappled with his emotional reactions. He would often react impulsively when confronted with situations that upset him. His anger would lead to hurtful words, sparking arguments and hurting the feelings of those around him. One day, Michael decided to take control of his emotions. He realized that his impulsive reactions were causing more harm than good, and he sought a change. His journey toward emotional self-mastery began with mindfulness and meditation. These practices helped him become more aware of his thoughts and emotions. Furthermore, Michael adopted the art of not reacting when faced with situations that would typically trigger his emotions. When confronted with such situations, he would consciously take a step back and breathe deeply. This pause allowed him to assess the situation calmly and respond thoughtfully, rather than reactively. Initially, it was challenging for Michael to control his emotions entirely. He would still experience anger and frustration. Nonetheless, he persisted in his practice and over time, it became easier for him to manage his emotions. What's more, Michael noticed that his relationships with others improved significantly. Instead of engaging in arguments and causing hurt, he was able to communicate calmly and thoughtfully, fostering stronger relationships. One day, a friend in need approached Michael for advice. This friend was experiencing a difficult time and was overwhelmed with distress. Michael, now known for his emotional self-control, listened attentively to his friend's problems. He offered words of comfort and support, and his friend remarked, you always know just what to say. You never get angry or upset. With a serene smile, Michael responded, it's not that I never feel anger or upset, it's just that I've learned to control my emotions and not let them control me. It's a powerful tool that has helped me improve my relationships and overall well-being. Impressed by Michael's transformation, his friend inquired about his journey toward emotional self-mastery. Michael shared his experience, emphasizing the significance of mindfulness and the power of not reacting. He encouraged his friend to embark on a similar path. Over time, 
Michael became renowned for his calm and thoughtful demeanor. He demonstrated the ability to handle difficult situations with ease, earning admiration for his strength and resilience. His continued practice of mindfulness and the art of not reacting brought him a sense of inner peace and happiness. The story of the King and Michael underscores a valuable lesson for us all, the power to control our emotions. While we may not always have control over external circumstances, we can certainly control our reactions to them. By practicing mindfulness and the art of not reacting, we can learn to manage our emotions and respond thoughtfully rather than impulsively. This powerful tool can yield numerous benefits, including improved relationships, better decision-making, and a more fulfilling life. It reminds us that while anger and frustration may surface, the key lies in our response to these emotions. By maintaining a calm and thoughtful demeanor, we can navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. The story of the King and Michael, guided by the wisdom of Gotam Buddha, serves as a profound reminder of the incredible power we hold within ourselves, the power to control our emotions. Through mindfulness and the practice of not reacting impulsively, we can transform our responses to life's trials, ultimately improving our relationships, making wiser decisions, and leading a more fulfilling life. The tale encourages us to acknowledge our emotions rather than suppress them and to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively in the face of adversity. It highlights the immense potential within each of us to achieve emotional self-mastery and inner peace. As we embark on our own journeys of self-improvement, let us remember that the true measure of strength lies in our ability to maintain composure and respond with grace even in the face of challenging circumstances. By doing so, we can build stronger connections with others, enhance our well-being, and shape a brighter, more peaceful future for ourselves and those around us. If you found this story inspiring and wish to explore more life lessons and wisdom, consider subscribing to our newsletter to receive regular updates on thought-provoking stories and valuable insights. Subscribe for more stories of wisdom and personal growth.